I know what the problem was. All of the people I was talking about this morning were of retirement age. You were all old enough to get Medicare. And I know what's really, really important to you is to make sure your Medicare benefits are safe. So I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I just downloaded Rat Stats. Isn't it Year of the Rat? I know, I know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna draw too much on the Chinese situation because that might make some people feel uncomfortable. But apparently, there is an auditing database called Rat Stats. According to the HHS OIG, it goes all the way back to the 1970s. So I can take uh, samplings and I can cross-reference it uh, in order to make sure there's no fraud concerning any billings. And then if I take that and put it with this rule that uh, we're, the comments closed on uh, December 31st, 2019, concerning oh my gosh and look at that it was published on october 17th 2019 you know what that is two years after i filed with the texas supreme court a self-disclosure about understanding that my filing was being used in acts of bond fraud oh how great it is that two years later they have this from the oig of hhs and this is the thing it says. This proposed rule is being issued. It proposes to add on a prospective basis only after a final rule is issued, which it was before 2020. Safe harbor protections under the federal anti-kickback statute for certain coordinated care and associated value-based arrangements between or among clinicians, providers, suppliers, and others that squarely meet all safe harbor conditions. Now, just so you know, there's another part in here. The proposed rule would add a new safe harbor for donations of cybersecurity technology and amend the existing safe harbors for electronic health records arrangements, warranties, local transportation and personal services and management contracts. What would happen if you are nearly eight months into the implementation of this rule and you did not provide any receipts for what you claim are donations? Like when somebody says, well, we're just going to donate it. Well, in order to do that legitimately, they need to provide you with a receipt that assesses a understanding of what they consider to be the monetary value. And if they don't do that, then it's not eligible for consideration as a donation, is it? Cybersecurity technology concerning electronic health records. You really don't want to mistake that for any securities you're using as derivatives in connection with your retirement or pension scheme. But don't worry right? You had no idea that you had to disclose before you engaged people in a derivative agreement. You had no idea that you had to obtain somebody's informed consent before engaging them in any sort of uh, medical treatment. And you had absolutely no idea at all about basic contract law including what a disgorgement is and what qualifies one for disgorgement, what a rescission is and what qualifies one for a rescission, or how to cancel a contract or what could qualify to cancel a contract. You had no idea about what mental competence was and you had never read the Texas Constitution, which talks not only about contracts but also private property and things like that word inviolate, right? You had no idea. Actually, I think you did. I'm so glad we had this conversation this morning. I told you. I told you. I'd look out. I'd look out, you know? Thank you so much for actually, actually you didn't. Not a goddamn fucking one of you got back to me in over five years. You know what? Statue of limitations? <laughs> Twice in 10 years is Rico, guys. Twice, 10 years.